my name is Bryony. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe before you go. For now, let's just dive straight into the video. So today we have another unboxing and it is Rocker Box. Now this is the birthday box. So this is for March and it's their fourth birthday this year, which is super exciting. I've unboxed Rocker Box in the past, now and then on my channel. I've done a lot of mystery box unboxings from them. And also, I think I might have done one or two of the sort of monthly subscription ones as well. But yeah, I'm excited to get back into unboxing Rocker Box. So this month, this one was kindly gifted to me in return for sharing it with you. I've also been given a discount code, which I will leave down in the description should you want to go ahead and purchase and also a link as well but yeah let's just dive straight into the birthday edits so I'm gonna pick these out in no particular order and as I go I will refer to the little card and I'll give you more information about each product we do have RRPs in this box which is great you get to see how much value you are getting I think this month is over 70 pounds I can't see where it says it, but I'm pretty sure somewhere said it was over £70. So we are getting amazing value this month. So yeah, I'm just going to dive straight in. And I think we've got extra items as well. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Yes, yeah, so we've got six products this month. So I think that, I think it's usually five with the occasional extra. So first up, we have a product by... ISO clean so this is a product designed to clean your makeup brushes now I clean my makeup brushes with um my cellar well saying that I clean my dirty makeup brushes you know like your foundation your concealer any face brushes because they get foundation on them inevitably even if they're brusher, blusher or bronzers those type of brushes I clean with proper soap and then my eyeshadow brushes, I generally clean with micellar and then use a disinfecting spray on them so that they definitely don't have any germs. Um, but this looks similar in the way that it's quite a thin liquid. Let's see what information have we got about this. So this is actually just a sample just because it's their birthday. That is a bonus product and it's saying that it's it's actually worth a pound. So it's not worth a vast amount. However, it is something that is a great size to try. I'll just open it up so that you can see. So this is it here. So as you can see, that's going to be enough just to sort of get a feel of the product and know whether it's something that you like. I want to say this must have isopropyl alcohol in it with it being called IsoClean. I'm just going to get the leaflet out and see if it tells me. Okay, so IsoClean looks very simple to use. You literally put a small amount on a flat surface. It's saying to put it on a drip tray, but we don't have a drip tray because this is a a small version so I would just literally put it on some kind of like maybe a saucer or something like that and then you dip it on you dip your brush, brush on and then you rub your brush on a clean paper towel and then it is done so that is very very easy I can see this being perfect for eyeshadow brushes etc for the final sort of sterilization um step but yeah i'm interested in giving that one a try and as i say that's an extra anyway so let's move on to the rest of the box next up we actually have a duo and they are counting this as one item which i think is incredible a lot of other boxes would give you one of these products and count it as an item but we've got two and it's not even like it's a shampoo and a conditioner it is a hand cream and a hand sanitizer so they would definitely be separate products in a lot of other boxes so I am very impressed that this is classed as one product so these are by anatomicals and I really love the smart wit that anatomicals have so this one says silly twits ignore their mitts now I don't know why that makes me giggle everything from anatomicals makes me giggle um i'm trying to think of one i've had in the past um 
I can't think, I can't think, but they're always quite funny and I do like that. I do like a bit of humour to go with my products. This is um, mint, so let's see if we can smell it. Is this the sanitizer? No, this is the hand cream. We'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a try of it. Hmm. I must admit, mint isn't really my cup of tea, but that's personal taste. I wouldn't ever sort of go out and try and buy a mint um, hand cream. It's not, an, it's not a horrible scent or anything like that. It's actually quite a nice scent. It's very sort of spearmint rather than peppermint. It is a nice scent, but it's just not one I would pick personally. But I'll definitely still use these products because, as I say, it's not an unpleasant scent. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, but the, the duo is worth £5. And I'm wondering what the hand sanitizer says about percentage because I always want to know that. The percentage is 70%, so that's great. That does mean that we're fully covered for COVID, so brilliant. Um, next we have a hair mask but it's a hair mask in the shape packet is this a sheet mask for your hair it totally is so this is some kind of mask for your hair that you actually wrap your hair in and I think actually now I'm saying this all oh, shocked I've heard of these before <laughs> and then They've been wiped out of my brain somehow. I don't know how. But yeah, I definitely think I might have had one of these before, but I've definitely not used it, I don't think. I think I might have bought one and then forgot about it. But yeah, this one feels really thick and weird, and I am very excited about this. This seems so interesting. <laughs> Something that you wrap around your head and then it moisturises your hair. It's like a face mask for your hair. It has just baffled me this, I swear. But yeah, this is also uh, cruelty free, which is amazing. And it's by Beauty Pro and I've had other like sheet masks and things from this brand and they've always been good. Not sure I've had any hair products though. Um, let's see what the card says. So it's worth $5.95. And it says, if you've ever wanted the effect of a sheet mask, but for your hair, then this is it. This is a mask that's designed to be put on your head when you're outside of the shower. So obviously you'd wash your hair, you'd put this on and then because it's a mask, a bit like a sheet mask, you can then keep it on your hair whilst you go about, uh, you know, doing whatever it is you need to do, whether that's, I suppose you could do something really boring like washing the dishes, but you could equally chill, relax, read a book, um if you need to do some work on your phone you could do that or on the laptop or whatever and it's gonna say stay stuck so yeah sounds interesting i really do feel like if you're wearing that kind of a mask whether it's on your face or your hair it is the law to chill whilst wearing it and not do too much work so just bear that in mind if you get this box try not to work with that on your head try and have a relaxing a uh, few minutes whilst it's on your hair and um, give yourself that bit of time next we have a product by Locatane. now I'm not sure I've had a product by this brand in a beauty box for a while or maybe at all I don't know it's a very expensive brand so this is the milk concentrate almond milk concentrate oh it's a body cream so this is a soft whipped bod body cream which melts into the skin and quickly leaves the skin with a beautiful satin like sheen um, the almond scent is also addictive. This is actually worth £12.50 and it's a body cream and it is only, where is it, 50ml. So this is a very expensive bougie product. So they've really pulled out all the stops. So next we have a product by Moni Skin and I don't think I've ever had um, a chance to try this brand. I do know that they were going around in certain boxes um, a while back but I think I must have missed whichever boxes they were going round in because I don't think I've tried anything from Moni Skin. Um, this is an illuminating primer and it's SPF. Is it 15 or 5? It says 15 I think. 15. 
Um, so it's designed to blur imperfections and helps foundation smoothly glide on. I'm just going to give this a try. I just want to see what it's like because I do use an illuminating primer. That is the primer I like to use. So I'm very interested to see if, especially with it having SPF in, my regular one does not have SPF. Oh, that came out tons. I only wanted a little bit. So that's something to bear in mind. A ton comes out. It's very thick. And I'm not sure it's that illuminating, to be fair. Look at the hands, look at the difference. So that's my regular hand. And that's my... Oh, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. It doesn't look as illuminating as my regular illuminating primer does. It's very thick. It's more like a really thick cream. But saying that, that would be good for my skin anyway. It's almost like a really thick moisturiser because I have dry skin. So my skin is not going to complain about having a thick moisturiser on it. So yeah, I'm pleased with that regardless because it seems like a pleasant moisturiser. And it smells quite nice without having too strong a scent. It just has a subtle scent, which is pleasant. So yeah, I will definitely be using this. I'm very excited to give it a try. Next, what's the final product? Ooh, okay. So the final product is Bougie One. It is Marc Jacobs. And this is a fine liner pencil. Oh, even though it's sample size, look how cute the packaging is. They've still made the effort with the packaging. Oh, I like this. So this is worth £8. And it is just a retractable type pencil. Mine doesn't want to go up for some reason. Oh, here it's, it's going. It's just took its time. So there it is. And is this meant to be black? Ignore that. That was from a different video. <laughs> There it is. It's pretty black as well, which is great. I don't think it goes back down once it's gone up. So just bear that in mind. Don't over pump it up because it might not go back down. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this box. Let's go back through one by one. I'll show you everything again, just as a reminder. So this was like a, an extra freebie, really. This is the ISO Clean. But I'm happy to have this to try because I have heard other people rave about this product and I've never tried it myself so I'm excited to give it a go even though it's just a sample size. We then have the Locatane which is worth £12.50 which is insane for the size so yeah very excited to try that. I imagine it's going to be amazing. We then have the Monuskin Illuminating Primer it seems right up my street. I love an illuminating primer. I love a thick moisturiser and the combination of the two is, you know, my dream. <laughs> then we have the hand sanitizer and hand cream duo, which I do think having two products classed as one item is pretty impressive to me because there are plenty of the boxes that you would just get the one item, you wouldn't get the two together. We then have the hair mask, which is like a wrap round hair mask, which again is very intriguing to me. And then finally, definitely not least, definitely last but definitely not least, we have the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I actually think that I've not had rocker box, as I say, for a very long time. I actually think I haven't really been watching unboxings of it or anything like that. This is one of the better boxes I've had in a while of any box. They've really pulled out the stops. These items for the price of the box, it's a £10 box, is insane. Like to have these two in together in a box and then you add in Marc Jacobs and then you add in all the other bits as well. It is just unbelievable value. It's less than £2 an item. So... I mean, would you pay £2 for that? It's worth £12.50. Would you pay £2 for that? It's worth, I don't know, what's this one worth? Quite a bit, no doubt. £36. 
£36 for that one. And as I say, they, it was doing the rounds a while back. I don't know whether it was cohorted. It was in another box anyway. And people were raving about how good Money Skin was, but I've never tried it. So I'm very excited about this one. And yeah, I am actually really impressed with this one. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye. <laughs>